guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative, and I know, I know, I have been missing. It's because I've been busy, I've been working, work has been kicking my ass. So today I'm going to give you a tutorial, and it's not really a tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to make a form with this new Happy Forms by Theme Foundry. Now Theme Foundry are a company that started many, many years ago. They've been in the industry longer than some of these page builders have actually been alive. And they started off in the theme industry. They're still in the theme industry. They created a, a, a quite a famous theme called Make a couple of years back when page builders were just, just realizing there was a better world after Visual Composer. And they created this theme which allowed people to create their own things really easily using their own built-in kind of drag and drop thing. It was quite revolutionary for the time, um, but since then um, they've made so many different improvements and they introduced this new form and it is completely 100% free. There is no, you know, click here to get the pro version of this form. There's none of that. It is straight freeness and it's actually quite an easy form to use as well. I really love the interface. I'm just going to quickly show you how to use it. So we're going to create a form and in this form I'm going to try and find myself a new boyfriend. So I'm going to create a form, I'm going to call this form New Boyfriend Application Form, okay? First thing of course I want to do is have the person's name, so let's have it first name and I'm going to add another one here for his second name because I don't want to be marrying my cousin. What I really also like about this, not just the user interface, because the user interface is like, it's easy. There's no second guessing what your form is going to look like. There's no fiddling with this, no fiddling with that. You literally just click on one module and it just moves itself straight in there. Okay, it's just easy, 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 easy. And you can also search as well. So if I want a date field, there we have our date filled. The only thing that it doesn't have on here, which I'm just a little bit like, mm, it's not there. It doesn't have a upload uh, form, an upload section. So please, you guys at Bing Foundry, please, if you can add an upload section to it, that would be amazing. Another reason why I really like this, other than the perfect UI, well, it's in the customizer section, which is just dope, is that I can like change the field. So if I want it to be full width, I can change it there. If I want it to be half, I can change it there. If I want it to be one third, I can change it there. And all of everything that I need to see is on the right hand side of the screen. So the preview is just, it's just perfect. You know, long gone are the days where you're trying to put in CSS classes into a gravity forms fucking field, right? Annoying. So this is really good for me right now. I can just change these to be half because we don't need, we don't need long names in there. Okay, so we've got first name, second name. I also need to know the person's telephone number. Of course, I can now change where that's gonna go as a placeholder. I'm gonna change that to half. And I want to know his email address because I, obviously I need to respond back to him and I may not be able to do it by phone at that time. Another thing I need to know is this person's age. So I'm gonna use the number field and I'm gonna put in what, I don't need to ask, just age. Age is perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose which age. So the minimum age that I will date is 30, Five. And the maximum age that I will accept is 45. I can't accept any bigger than that. All right, maybe 47. 47, I would do a 47 year old. I also want to know what star sign he is. So let me choose a drop down. I'm going to put in the ones that I like. Cancer, Leo. We can have that as half as well, I think. Oh no, actually, let's just leave that how that is. That's fine. 
What else do I need to know about my particular guy? His height. Oh my God, I need to know how tall he is. And I don't need to be dating anyone who's the same height as my son, as my eight-year-old. Like, that's just not gonna work for me. What else do I need to know? Hmm. I actually have no values. All I need to know is your age and your star sign and your height, and I'm pretty much good to go. Job, uh, what do you do for a living? And I also need to know your rating. So I need to know how good in bed you are. So a sex rating is perfect for me. How much you rate yourself as a boyfriend. So partner rating. And I also need to know whether it's my birthday and whether you would give me something for my birthday. So gift rating. Like, or are you not going to give me anything for my birthday? Because I won't ask you for anything throughout the whole entire year. But on my birthday, like, you have to treat me. That's just the rules. A lifetime subscription to a plug-in is, like, the ultimate birthday present for me. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Somebody help me. I need you to tell me about yourself. Okay? So let's put in here, tell me about yourself. And the most important thing, not your website, I need, to, I need, yeah, actually, your Facebook link. Facebook link, because I'm psycho like that and needs to research everything about you. The most important question of all questions, the most important question of all questions. Do you know WordPress. Do you know how to spell WordPress should be my question. And then we'll add an option. Yes. No. This is like the killer. This is the secret question. They don't know this. Mm -mm. That's it. It's over. So I've got all my forms filled in. As you can clearly see. Oh, I didn't. I did something. Tell me about your, oh my gosh, tell me about you. So I've done all of my fields now, and now we can go on to the next section, which is the confirmation section, which is easy. So I'm not really gonna spend time fiddling around with this bit, but as you can see, I have got uh, a way that I can put in my email address here. And if I want to add in multiple email addresses, I would just put a comma there and then I'll add another email address and that should be fine. I've also got a way that I can redirect to another page. So this is my boyfriend application form. I can probably get them to, once they filled in the form, they can direct to a picture of me smiling. And um, after that, we have the submit form. And we have these other options here, spam prevention, um, we can save messages for this form if we need to, and we can also use the Google Recapture. I haven't actually um, got a Recapture key to put in there, but you can put that in there if you want to. And we can click next. And this panel here allows us to basically do the styling of the form. So we've got it at 100% right now, we could change it to 35% if we want to can change some of the colors we can change let's see the rating so right now if I click a rating it's orange but I can change that rating to purple if I wanted to that's cool and you know I could even do bits with the form here just to see how everything works so once we've done with the form we can now press save form and we have a short code here which we can copy and paste that into a page now I've already created a page called contact and I've already got a contact form in there already but I'm going to click on this button here which says add happy forms, new boyfriend application and I'm going to press update. Now if we go into the form here you can see it's in there very nicely. Now this should work for all of the forms that you, all of the page builders that you have like Elementor, Divi, um, Beaver Builder, Visual Composer, I don't really like saying that swear word on my channel, but anyway, 
and it's free it's easy there is not a click here for the pro version it is free 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 two thousand years later free 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 form i find it so much more better than contact form 7 contact form 7 i've never really liked that so give it a go if you like it leave me a message below or if you've got any other uh, forms that you yourself really like i would be i would love to hear it apart from if it's contact form 7 i don't want to hear about contact form 7. okay guys see you in the next one bye